All right, welcome back to the channel. I am uh, slow in the slow process of cleaning the shop. Uh, those of you who have had a shop uh, know how messy it can get. Uh, it's actually, you know, taken me a while to get it even this clean. Uh, it used to be worse before, but anyways, uh, this is an old index card cabinet or filing cabinet. I'm not sure which one. And, uh, you know, something my dad, I think, picked up somewhere a long time ago. And uh, what I thought is maybe I should use it to organize stuff. So, this cabinet is probably about five feet tall. Uh, lots and lots of drawers and what I decided to do is actually put it on wheels and the darn thing's so heavy I actually had to use eight uh, caster wheels uh, just because it's so heavy and especially when you get it loaded up I put this handle here so I can actually slide a bar through here you could see secure drawers before moving because these drawers are all actually slide out and uh, you don't want that when you're moving it because the whole thing will tip over so, I guess we'll start at the top here. I am labeling them. So this is documents, manuals, writing supplies for the shop, pencils, whatever. Uh, this one is my test one. My dad used to love putting all his stuff into these old uh, Taster's Choice jars. So I was just seeing how many I could fit in there. This, is, this drawer isn't assigned yet. Uh, in here, got my brake cleaner WD-40, also some glues, I gotta, gotta label that, and some command strips there. Here, I got my quarter inch stainless steel hardware underneath as well. Um, basically, you know, I can lift this out, there's another tray underneath, and yeah. Next up. I got uh, screws, concrete screws, wood screws, metal screws, you, you know, the usual. Um, I got my drill bits. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these here, just because uh, my drill presses are way over there. So I'd have to walk here all the time, but I do quite a bit of stuff on the workbench. Uh, as you can see, I was just making a video of the wood chogan sheath thing that I made some mistakes on. I'll, I'll put a link in the video. So I may move that. This is where I have all my miscellaneous stuff, I guess I could say. Uh, this is like Honda parts. This is the old wiper clips, zip ties, old light bulbs. Um, you know, uh, some stuff there. So... That is that. Okay, next. Uh, this one I changed to just shop rags. Got a whole bunch from work. Long, long time ago. And then this is bits of wire. Um, you know, aircraft cable, actual wire, wire loom. Is that wire loom? Yeah, I got wire loom on there. Next up. Uh, relay splashers, crypt connectors. Basically all your electrical stuff. Got some relays back there. Heat shrink. Some... Oh god, I'm blocking the light. There we go. Some crimp connectors. Um, I gotta relabel that, but... Put a nice little handle on it. Okay. And then... I've got... Um, gasket material and... Um, parts for the trike. So I am, this is something my dad built, and I'm in the process of trying to get it back up on the road and getting my motorcycle license, so keeping all the little parts I can here. And then the last one is all my straps. Now I know some of you are going to cringe and be like, oh my god, why are you wrapping your straps this way? It's horrible, they don't, you know, they're not quick to deploy, blah blah blah. But it keeps it nice and tidy. I don't use these straps very often, so there we go. And that's what I got for my organization tower, or whatever you want to call it. And yes, there is free free Wi-Fi here if you can make it out here, but internet's slow. Anyways, 
thanks for watching the video and that's what I got I will at some point do a, a shop tour even though it's super messy and maybe it'll be a in-progress series to clean this place up